Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Uh, we're going to continue on with our social media integration application. Uh, this will be part 5B. And uh, the reason it's part 5B is because as I was getting ready to do part 6, I noticed that there was a few things that, uh, that I had uh, missed. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to make those corrections right now and uh, then I'll, uh, catch, uh, I'll catch everybody up in uh, part six in the next video. So <clears throat> what we have here in our post objects, I uh, forgot to uh, add in the initializers for likes and uh, attachments. So our likes object uh, is just going to take the object of um, likes from our JSON object, okay? We can get rid of the loops that we had there before. Uh, this here, the next one is our attachments. And we simply, it basically looks exactly the same as our um, previous one, our likes. So we can get rid of our loops once again there. And the other thing that we, uh, we also need to do is we do not have any, any uh, at any point, we're not initializing ID, story, and create time. So there's also another, few, another uh, attribute I'm going to add, and uh, we'll do that right now as well. We're going to put this into our, just before our uh, likes and uh, attachments, uh, after we've uh, checked for no. Um, so our ID... Oops, I've got to stop pushing the wrong buttons. There we go. JSON object dot ID and story equals JSON object dot story. Next one, we have create time equals JSON object dot create. Eh, let's just... Uh, copy it because I probably would have said created create time and it's actually created time all right now one thing that I am noticing here that we should have is our message you notice we have message in here but we do not have it in uh, any of our properties so we're going to add that change that to message and we'll just make a copy right here paste that in all right so let's just run down here now there's a couple other areas that I did notice um, right here we have one more error this is in the likes object this should be referring to data uh, and it's it's showing as uh, it was doing JSON object dot likes that's because I just cut and paste the information from uh, the posts before <clears throat> so we can go through here Let's just keep looking. Make sure we've got everything uh, covered off. Um, one other thing that I noticed that I perhaps should add, and I think I'm going to do that right now, is we're going to also add comments. Comments are also a very, very valuable thing. So we're going to go up into our uh, Google Graph, uh, or a, uh, sorry, our Facebook Graph API Explorer, and we're going to ask for the comments and in that we're going to ask for a few other things here we're going to ask for uh, first of all oops there we are we are going to ask for let's see uh, we can ask for ba, ba, ba. we could ask for sub comments and likes but uh, I think that I'm just going to open up another can of worms and I think uh, I'm going to hold off on doing that today but with all the lessons that I'm doing right now, you should be able to get all the information that you need. So we do need message, okay? You could ask for message tags and things like that too. That's a, that's a good idea. Uh, you could ask for the message attachment. In other words, this is the attachment that comes in and it would look very similar to the attachments uh, fields that we have there uh, as well. So I think what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna just stay very simple and uh, you know, we're probably going to ask for for who it's from uh, the ID um, let's see can we get the name no that's not the name we want how 
right, so we want ID, and we do want to know who wrote this comment. So let's uh, let's see where we can find that. Ah, there it is from earlier. Now let's uh, let's just run this query and see what comes back because we want to be able to get something that's up to date. Okay, so we have our uh, information that came back. Now I'm going to just scroll down until I find something that has comments, just to be sure I know what we're getting into. Lots and lots of information here. Um, there's one, comments. So comments, just like uh, likes and attachments, has uh, the main object and then it has a data uh, array. So in that data array, we asked for the message, uh, the ID, and the from. And it looks like from is an object, and in that object has name and ID. So let's um, let's go back in here. And like I said, it's uh, this object is very similar to um, to attachments and attachment. So I'm just going to copy those two objects and uh, steal the code and move over uh, down here. We can then just rename them. Comments. Okay. Okay, comment. And that is a, uh, a comment object. Comment object. We'll get into this in a moment. We'll fix these little errors. You'll see they'll disappear as we go. <coughs> Excellent. All right, now from, uh, we have message first of all, so let's just make a couple of these changes in our in, in this uh, old attachment I, um, ID uh, right there. And then we have a from object. Okay, you'll notice it has that red underline because it doesn't exist yet, and we're going to do that very shortly. Okay, so we can go up here now and change this information and we've got ID delete these two and we will change this one to from okay there we have it and there we are we're all fixed up there okay I'm gonna right click on that and just do a quick uh, generate and looks like it's not going to do that for me so nicely there so I'm going to do it this way generate from class and you'll see that it'll appear right here all right now we um, have a couple things that we will change up here in just a moment and let's uh, just keep looking through I want to make sure that I've got everything I need here okay all right, now I'm, just, I'm going to steal some code from image and put it into my from. Okay, so we'll go back down here, change this to from, from, excellent. And from has the properties of name and ID. So we'll make that change. Name, ID, right there. Delete these ones because they don't aren't necessary anymore. That's height and width from our uh, image. Okay, there we have it. So now we have a from object. So as we look up here in our comment object, we are filling message and we're filling ID. We're also getting the information about the person who um, who posted that comment. Good. All right. Now what's happening up here is that um, we have um, a list of comments. Okay. And in this case, um, we are needing to change this one right here. Okay. This is uh, in, we're in comment, right? So of course the other ones were one I attached it, I, I took it from was attachment. So uh, this is an array of comments, not an array of attachments. Okay. Now, some of the common things that I hear, uh, you know, why don't you, why don't you scale back this code and use code reuse and all the rest? 
right now i don't want to make things too confusing as it is this is already getting confusing so if we start bringing in inheritance and uh, polymorphism and all the rest it will get super confusing so we're just going to keep this very basic so that it's easy to follow um, so let's uh let's move on from this we uh we look like we've got all of the information that we actually need from a post one last thing that i'm going to do I am going to rename our feed file just so that it's correctly named uh, because it's actually posts. Okay. Uh, because we renamed it over here, I want to just keep the, con the, the naming conventions similar. Um, we'll go over to our Facebook controller now and we'll just make sure that everything is good here. Uh, it is not. So we have to change this one to posts. And uh, we'll rename it to posts. And then we'll rename the initializer to posts. Excellent. Okay. Now, the last thing that we're going to do. Uh, when we pass in the view uh, or the model to the view, we're going to pass in a posts model. Okay. Which means that uh, in our posts uh, view, we have to add a model at the top of the page. So what we're going to see uh, at the top of the page here is we are going to, we add it to the top of the page here, and we're going to be looking for socialmediareader.models.socialmedia.facebook.posts. Okay. All right, that's it for this uh, section here. I'm going to continue on with um, displaying the information in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please remember to like and share and uh, keep the comments coming. I really appreciate the feedback. Hope to catch you in the next video. Take care. Enjoy.